Hello everyone, today we are making a sushi bake and tong hulu. I have not made either of those, so it will be a nice little test kitchen experience and they kind of go together because they're both Asian related. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get started. We've kind of taken a couple different recipes for the sushi bake and mixed them together. So we're kind of just winging it a little bit but we're gonna start by making our salmon and cooking it beforehand which i know is against sushi because it's typically raw sometimes but we're gonna start by preheating our oven for 425 and cooking our salmon let's see i'm also going to edit a lot of it so sweet is it already preheated no oh We need, we are told to salmon, salmon. Season our salmon to preference. She recommends garlic, powder, salt, black pepper, so we'll just do that because that's easiest. I don't really know anything, any fun facts to share. Any salmon facts? Salmon is good for omega-3s. <laughs> okay. Which is good for your brain health. Yeah. So today, I have someone filming me, which never happens. Well, not never, but it rarely happens. And my sister is visiting this week slash weekend. And we went ice skating at the Maggie Daily Ribbon. But it was like misting and raining the whole time. So we were quite cold, but that was nice because it drove a lot of people away. So it was pretty empty, but it was fun. And then we were tired. So we're replenishing our glycogen stores and getting our energy back. Bulking up for bulk season. Yeah. <laughs> and you should, you could prep everything else, but you're gonna have to probably break up the imitation tab a little bit. Okay. We're just doing salt. Pepper. We have salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then we'll wait for the oven to heat up. All right. While we wait for the oven to heat up before we throw in our salmon, we're gonna go make our rice now because this will probably take like 18, 20 minutes. So come on over. It's exciting. <laughs> to our rice bucket. We need two to three cups of cooked rice, and it doubles in size from raw, so. Raw rice? Raw rice. <laughs> so we're gonna do one and a half. It's about half. Okay. Now we must wash our rice. So come back over. This is the fun process. And you just keep going over and over. Any rice washing tips? Um, motions? Do you just do circle? Or do you I do. do. Something I used to do is I would wash the rice in a separate container. That's high effort. That is a lot. It caused another dish to have to be cleaned, which was annoying. And this way also, kind of the water that gets retained in the rice from washing it, I use that toward the measurement of how much rice, or how much water to add. Whereas before I end up adding too much water, it was a little too soggy. So I know they don't recommend using the like cooking bowl, but I do. Who doesn't recommend that? The company. Seriously? Uh, yeah, on the instruction it says do not use. Yeah, they tell you to wash your rice on the instructions? Oh, yeah, I was making Because <laughs> I'm sure I was like, maybe they have tips. So we're going to just keep doing this until the water is as clear as I can get it. Slash, I get sick of this. What else? We can pick back up from where we were. We went ice skating. We got smoothies, which were great, which you wouldn't think to get after cold, wet ice skating, but I wanted something fruity, so. 
And then we had a feast when we came back. We had wok and chips and crab legs and rice and ground beef. A feast. I'm gonna try it for one more. All right, so it's getting pretty clear, kind of clear. I'm sick of this, so we're gonna move on. <laughs> we're gonna drain it and add our water. I know it's like one to two ratio, but I was told by my one of my Asian friends that I should be measuring the Asian way, which I'm not sh quite sure I get that. I think it's on your finger. Yeah, I think it's the first line. Or the second line? It, you have to, it depends on how much rice you have. It's like the measurement from the rice to the top of the water. Come, come in. Oh. Come, come look in. So. Dude, what if you're selling fake information here? <laughs> <laughs> this could, this could this be right. wrong, but I don't know. This looks like good enough for me. Dude, we're gonna lines on the bowl. <laughs> this works. So we're gonna throw it in our little rice cooker. Turn it on, and we're gonna hit white rice. And now we wait. Okay, that's done. <laughs> All right, we're gonna throw in our salmon. The oven is ready. And we're gonna check it after like 10 minutes. So we're just, we'll check that. So next, we're gonna make our sauce which has cream cheese. It called for QP mayo, the like Japanese mayo, and I couldn't find it, so we're just gonna do regular mayo. And sriracha. So, let's see. Okay, we need three ounces of our cream cheese. I'm just gonna toss this little guy in. Yeah. Look at the cream cheese. Wow. But it's not focusing. Let it focus. There we go. Wow. Oh. Wow. Next, we need a quarter cup mayo. spatula for optimal spatula we should still don't want this to go the lens and then the last thing to our mixture is sriracha one tablespoon sriracha come on one tablespoon Trying to think of other fun facts. Do you know Tell how many them. teaspoons are in a tablespoon? Three. Do you know how many tablespoons are in a cup? Nope. That's the extent to my knowledge. <laughs> Do you want to share? I don't know. Uh oh. Dude, I don't. You're the dietitian here. I just live my life. Should I tell them about my tummy troubles? No, no <laughs> one wants to hear about that. No. All right. I'll draw the line there. <laughs> and our last ingredient. This is a good camera. I spent quite a bit. 
tired. Okay. And now we mix. Combine well and set aside. Oh, we're well, supposed to let the cream cheese soften. We will soften it ourselves. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> All right, stop that. No more ASMR. This spatula is going through it. Is this what? Ah! Our precious sauce. Hold on. I need to rinse this. Ew. Okay. Can we make that face again? Oh my god. <laughs> I will not tolerate this slander of my character. <laughs> Next, so I reference my recipe. Who's trying to <gasps> Three minutes till the salmon's almost done. <laughs> <Just a> salmon. <laughs> so we're gonna shred the salmon with the crab. Okay, let's do the crab. We got this imitation crab. We got too much. So we should probably only use half, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. Let's not be rash. If we got. Okay. Some imitation crab. Wait, no, oh my gosh, I almost did it vertical. <laughs> okay, so not go on. do that. Go ahead. So imitation crab, surprisingly, is not a real crab. That's all the facts I know. It's made of fish usually. Made of white fish. Is that what it says? Did you have your I think I do know that fact. Have you seen the videos of them making imitation crab? No. It's really entertaining. It looks like, um, you know how people just get grossed out when hot dogs are made? It's like a similar thing where it like becomes like a Let's paste. Let's not talk about like that. You dye part of it red. Do I just rip it? <gasps> yeah, but do you want chunks that big? No. Then cut it smaller. All right, we're going to cut the ch imitation crab because we want small little chunks. For all the nail connoisseurs out there, you probably noticed my nails are shorter. Should I get a zoom a little? Wait, it's not focused. It's not focused. Oh my gosh, stop moving. <laughs> it's focusing on the fish. Let me focus on your hand. Focus on me. Try. Okay, there we go. I think. Wait, I can't, hand. I can't tell. I'm not focusing. It's fine. It's fine. They'll look at it. But I'm taking a break from long nails. They're kind of irritating me. And it's been nice having short nails again. So many more things I can do easier. Kitchen tip. If you don't want your cutting bag, cutting bag, cutting board to move, put a wet washcloth under it. It won't. I'm not going to follow this kitchen trip tip trick because I don't want to wash a wet rag but you can do that it would probably help you but we're just gonna like did you probably pull it apart at this point no 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 okay. I'm I'm in it now I only know how small this is supposed to be however like look at the size and be like would I want to bite into a piece this big I don't want to bite into any big pieces and why don't you blend it up ew Yeah. I'm doubting the sauce to imitation crab ratio. Shh, don't. Trust the process. There's a chase. A chase. Our corners are clean. Mm, you should check the salmon now. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's look at her. She looks okay. Um, well, it's gonna cook a little bit longer too. You might as well just pull it. You just need to be able to shred it. You can shred it. All right. Does it shred? Yeah, it shreds. 
We're gonna do it. It's a nice picture of the camera. Pro tip, use your shredding fork to break up your hard cream cheese because it's already gonna all mix together anyway. So it'll be fine. Okay, now we need to shred our salmon. So we're gonna throw this in a little bowl. And take this, our fork, to save dishes. It's not hot. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm just trying to get the salmon. Oh. You okay. just start picking the salmon <laughs> off the skin. I'm trying to remove, I'm just going to shred it on top of the skin. Pro tip. <laughs> There's got to be a better way to do this, and I don't know it, but that's fine. I mean, didn't it just separate from the skin right there? Yeah, we're just going to move it in parts. It's fine. Everyone remain calm. The situation is under control. I don't know if anyone's freaking out. <laughs> okay. Meow. And now we shred. <laughs> That wasn't good. Okay. And now we're shredding, okay? Everyone, we're gonna start shredding. <laughs> this is time to shred. <laughs> Does it break apart? Yeah, it breaks apart pretty easily. Oh, sweet. Now we mix our proteins. Wow. Wow, so nice. Chopped. <gasps> they lost some. That's okay. All right. Gonna mix. Gently fold it up. Our imitation crab. Okay. And then we mix in our sauce. Now we mix. Mmm. I I think we're supposed to do rice next. Yeah, the rice needs to be done. Our rice is not ready. We have 10 minutes. We can start the Tang Hulu. Let's start the Tang Hulu. <laughs> the answer here. Influencer hands. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna do a blurry one and it's gonna be recipe doesn't really have a lot of fiber so we will, we will be adding in fiber on top at the end how do you like your vegetables cut in this can I do circles well we're gonna be doing like seaweed like little pouches right so oh I make sense I do to do a rectangle long yeah but not like super long I'll do thirds get out of here okay Is this okay? For... I think, I think you want them to be thinner. Thinner? <sighs> okay. There it is. 
Really? Mm -hmm. We're stopping this and we're gonna do the rice because we want this in the oven ASAP. Okay, so pause. And we're gonna do this. Okay. Come on yonder. We have our rice. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna mix her up. We need two cups. Two to, wait, no, we're doing three cups. Three cups. Are you measuring? Just put it all in. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> we're doing all this. <laughs> all right. It's just easier that way. In you go. Oh, that's hot. Ow. You okay? Oh, there's still rice. Okay. Make sure you get all your rice. This is precious goods. Can't miss any of it. Your arm's on this thing. Oh, <laughs> you know what? It's just like a wide shot. Where do you want me to go? No, you're fine. You're all good. Okay. Now we do. Two tablespoons of rice vinegar. I can eyeball it. All right, you said I can eyeball. Or you can just use the spoon to measure, or use a tablespoon. They're conservative for, that was like one. That's two. Okay. <laughs> now we mix her around. And this is going to be our base layer. And we flatten. Like sushi. <laughs> Do they flatten? I don't think they've had it down with sushi. Have you made sushi? You should make sushi for me sometime. Maybe they don't flatten. They don't make it. Well, they roll. They flatten when they roll sushi. They don't flatten the rice, though. Dude, why don't you ever show me? You literally don't want to show me this. You know why? It's too. It's not wide enough you of a lens. You don't want to show me in my video. And you just, you just care about the food. I mean, I yeah, know. but like. Oh my god! I can't open this. Here, do you want me to do it? So next layer is our sushi. Is it under? I don't know. I was hoping that would work better than it did. I guess I have to. You could crumple it. Like you just have to crumple more. Crumple harder. I did. What is happening? Dude, I'm freaked out. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> what is why isn't it working? I don't know. The it's seaweed really is not it. I just gonna rip. This is not low maintenance. I'm just gonna start ripping. I'll just spread it out. It is what it is. <laughs> Tasty shot. We heated the oven to 380 and hopefully it's still warm. It should be still pretty warm from the salmon. Now we spread across the top. So as we wait for the oven to heat up, We're gonna return to chopping our veg. So chopping our thin little cukes for fiber, for colon, for colon cancer prevention. <laughs> I'm 
So it's time to put our sushi bag in the oven. We hit 380, we're gonna put it in here for 10 minutes. And then we're gonna broil it for like two to three minutes. So. We'll check that. And our cucumber is cut. Now we're gonna cut some avocados for our toppings as well. I assume we wanna do like Slices? Yeah, slices of a similar size to the cucumber. Okay. Whoa! Does it look ripe? It's so ripe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we have our little slices. Sometimes people rip it off and put it off nicely. Should I try that? Sure. I have to be like the people on the internet. <laughs> if you were like the people on the internet, I would be zooming into the food right now. I'm part of the show. Okay, we're gonna get this food. Uh -huh. It was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Stop showing that. Okay. I'm gonna just take this little guy out. Oh gosh. It's fine. <laughs> and they always make it look nice. Well, see, those are pretty good. You can pick it up from where it's at. Oh my gosh. Now, Dude, did you know that's the number one reason why people go to the emergency room? Yes. It stresses me out. I no longer do it. How do you get out the seed? You can, I just dig it out with my finger. Ew. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Nice safety. <laughs> How many should I cut all three? You can cut two for now. We had compost in Berkeley, but no longer. So. Yikes. We told our, our old landlord. Oh. We told our Cute. old landlord that in Berkeley, and they were That's shocked. That's why you left. Oh. No. <laughs> they were like, I thought everyone had compost. You. <gasps> what? I sliced a little bit too much through and hit my hand. <gasps> and I live to see the day. Injuries. I survived another day in the kitchen. All right, not the cutest. You know what? We're just going for different looks. We're gonna see what the people like. Who are the people? Oh, so scary. <laughs> so scary. These are nice and ripe avocados. Nope, is that what I want? Ripe? Yeah, this is Yes, ripe. I want ripe. Mm -hmm. We don't want hard avocados for this because that'd make it hard to eat. But if that's all you can find, then you gotta do what you gotta do. All right. And we have our plate of green. Yeah, that one looks really good. Did you see that last one? Yeah, that would look great. Okay. okay, it's time for tongue hu. This is something I've seen online that I just want to try to make. We're going to see how it goes. We have one. Well, Do you even know the recipe pulled up? No. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so tongue hulu, to my understanding, is like candied. Fruit. We have these manila mangoes and we have green grapes. So I start, no, I should cut and prep the fruit before I heat up. Yeah. Because I don't know how long it's going to take. It'll be fast. Does that mean we have to wait to eat until we finish the tom hulu? Huh? 
So maybe we have to wait to yeah. eat until we finish the meeting. Mm -hmm. Or we could take a break. I can do it after that. I'm into that. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna cut the mangoes. Nice socks. Wow. I zoomed into your socks. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me quickly, very quickly go off camera and find a recipe. So, so we're going to cut the fruit. Dude, what is happening? I can't. Do you need to sharpen your nose? Probably. Hold on. Okay. Should I film body? Only if you consent. We're gonna skin the mangoes. Hello. We're gonna skin the mangoes. And we're going to cut them into desirable shapes, put them on the skewers. I'm gonna do that all off camera, so you don't. You don't need to see all that. So, magic. And the next scene will be it done. No, are we ready? It's time. Okay. Well, it looks pretty good. We're gonna prep our, the final step is our little seaweed. It needs to be this big. So, we're gonna cut in half. You can also fold the lines of the folds. Doesn't have to be perfect. Cut this in half again. And we're gonna do it in half one last time. And this will be our um, tortilla. <laughs> it'll, okay. it'll hold it all together. We're gonna do just one more. So half-ish, half again, and then one last time. So it's about like a little roll, like a sushi roll. I am my target audience. Someone else finds it funny. Okay. Right here. One last one. Yeah. Now we can assemble.
All right. <laughs> so now we have our skewers made. We're gonna make our ice bowl where it goes after it mixes in the sugar and water. So let's make our sugar and water mixture first actually because we need to wait for it to heat. It's going to be, I don't think I have, oh, I have a cup. It's a two to one ratio of sugar to water. So let's get this started. We're gonna mix in one cup, it's a lot of sugar, and two cups. <laughs> <laughs> it's candied fruit. <laughs> then we're gonna throw in, I don't wanna use this different dish. That's correct. <laughs> We're going to mix it a little bit. So we have to get it up to a medium boil. Is that nonstick? Yeah. Do I use a metal spoon on a nonstick? We're going to spatula. I think it's nonstick. I'm not sure. Ah, okay. We need to get it up to a medium boil and then it has to reduce. All right, while we wait, we're gonna make our ice bath. So, all we need to do is add some water and ice. Check back in once this, our syrup is reduced. All right, as you can see, we'll let it simmer. There are little bubbles, and I think that means we have to start. So, are we okay. supposed to reduce the heat? Maybe, I don't know. Okay. We're into mix, 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 mix. Does it seem like it's coating it? Or is it too thin? It's kind of coated. Okay, you're fine then, keep going. We're gonna scoop, scoop. Let's just scoop this. I'm not gonna touch the bottom. Look at that basting. Oh, that one's not really basting. Okay. I think this is okay. In the ice bath. And now it's gonna go in the ice bath. Yeah. Oh, dude! <laughs> it's too Four big. Layers. It's too big. Ah. <laughs> what do I do? Put in the ice bath. Put in the ice bath. Everything calm down. I'll stick it in the other way too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> does, it, does it look like a shell hardened? Oh my gosh, it's going so hot. Dude, this is rough. I don't know. We're just gonna keep going. All right, next one. <laughs> We're 
We're going to keep spooning. The spoon is the star of the show. No. Take two. <laughs> Ice bath is not going as planned. The more you let it reduce, the thicker the syrup will be and the more easily it'll coat the fruit. Okay, that's, a bit. that's what we're going for. I don't think I have a bigger bowl than that that can fit this. Dude, I think you need a shallower bowl. One. All right, all right, <laughs> we're transferring this. Okay. That's fine. Okay, take two. <laughs> it's so much easier on the internet. I feel like we're burning it. I mean, probably not. Didn't they say amber color? Like light brown. No, it's not even light brown. Okay. Test two. Okay. Dude, I feel like these are too long. Because you need to be quick between spooning it over into the ice bath. No. But it's too much time in between spooning and ice bath. Like, there's too many pieces of fruit on each stick. The sticks are so long, though. Well, just put them all on the top of the stick. Okay. Ready? I mean, is, are they coated? Is there even stuff on them? Can you tell if it's staying? I don't know. I can see it go on. But is it just falling off immediately? It looks like it falls off. Then you, I think you need to make your stick shorter so you can make the transfer faster. Or just screw the bottom ones and just no. get the top ones and just put in the ice bath really fast. Dude, I don't know about this whole spooning thing. <laughs> working. I think, you know what, why don't we just reduce the syrup even more? Should I just take off? Should I try the cucumber? <laughs> <laughs> Sli slide them all to one end so you can submerge them all really quickly, like all at the same time. Okay. <gasps> we lost it. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> just move on. And you need to be quick getting into the ice bath. Dude, it doesn't even like go in. That's fine. There are cucumbers. Dude, I think we need to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> I don't think anything. Did you read the directions? Yes! Alright. I'm not feeling good. I'll just place them. Okay. This is hot. This is so hot. Do it pretty quickly. All right. Oh. oh gosh. That's fine. There's no time.
It's okay, you can clean it later. Just see the strings of syrup. Does it look a lot better than before? Yes. The thickness looks much better. Okay. These look pretty good. I don't know what we're gonna do with all the extra syrup. I was gonna say, I don't know what to do with this. So the key was our syrup was not hot enough. It needs to be 150 degrees Celsius or 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It was not anything close to that. And then we were supposed to take it off the heat I don't think that made a difference. That's what the recipe called for. Apparently you didn't need the ice bath. So we're gonna let these sit, hang out, and then we're gonna try them. It's not in focus, okay. Ow! Dude, stop burning yourself. Oh my gosh, look at my tongue. I hit it. I hit my knuckle. Okay, I'm gonna be done. Did you go rinse that under cold water? All right, we're gonna taste I feel like this is gonna be messy. It is gonna be messy. We're gonna taste test over here. Dude, you just bite off the top. I'm biting to multiple. Ready? Ones. Are you going? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> it worked! Here we go. Mmm. It actually is good. Cool. <laughs> you good? Mmm. Thanks for this. Okay. All right, so overall, we ran into some obstacles, but I think both dishes turned out okay. This was fun. Maybe we'll do more videos like this, like trying, I guess maybe like TikTok viral, social media, trendy recipes, but it turned out well. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next week. Really? Next week? Uh-huh. Okay. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs>